CBS News is the news division of American television and radio service CBS. The president of CBS News is David Rhodes. CBS News broadcasts include the CBS Evening News, CBS This Morning, news magazine programs CBS Sunday Morning, 60 Minutes and 48 Hours, and Sunday Morning Political Affairs program Face the Nation. CBS News Radio produces hourly newscasts for hundreds of radio stations, and also oversees CBS News podcasts like the Takeout Podcast. CBS News also operates a 24-hour digital news network called CBSN. History In 1929, the Columbia Broadcasting System began making regular radio news broadcasts. Five-minute summaries taken from reports from the United Press, one of the three wire services that supplied newspapers with national and international news. In December 1930 CBS chief William S. Paley hired journalist Paul W. White away from United Press as CBS's news editor. Paley put the radio network's news operation at the same level as entertainment, and authorized White to interrupt programming if events warranted. Along with other networks, CBS chafed at the breaking news embargo imposed upon radio by the wire services, which prevented them from using bulletins until they first appeared in print. CBS disregarded an embargo when it broke the story of the Lindbergh kidnapping in 1932, using live-on-the-air reporting. Radio networks scooped print outlets with news of the 1932 presidential election. In March 1933, White was named vice president and general manager in charge of news at CBS. As the first head of CBS News, he began to build an organization that soon established a legendary reputation. In 1935, White hired Edward R. Murrow, and sent him to London in 1937 to run CBS Radio's European operation. White led a staff that would come to include Charles Collingwood, William L. Shirer, Eric Severide, Bill Downs, John Charles Daly, Joseph C. Harsh Cecil Brown, Elmer Davis, Quincy Howe, H. V. Kaltenburn, Robert Trout, and Louis Schallenberger. CBS was getting its ducks in a row for the biggest news story in history, World War II," wrote radio historian John Dunning. Television Upon becoming commercial station WCBW Channel 2, now WCBS-TV in 1941, the pioneer CBS television station in New York City broadcast two daily news programs, at 2.30 and 7.30 p.m. weekdays, anchored by Richard Hubble. Most of the newscasts featured Hubble reading a script with only occasional cutaways to a map or still photograph. When Pearl Harbor was bombed on December 7, 1941, WCBW which was usually off the air on Sunday to give the engineers a day off, took to the air at 8.45 p.m. with an extensive special report. The national emergency even broke down the unspoken wall between CBS radio and television. WCBW executives convinced radio announcers and experts such as George Fielding Elliott and Linton Wells to come down to the Grand Central Studios during the evening and give information and commentary on the attack. The WCBW special report that night lasted less than 90 minutes. But that special broadcast pushed the limits of live television in 1941 and opened up new possibilities for future broadcasts. As CBS wrote in a special report to the FCC, the unscheduled live news broadcast on December 7, "...was unquestionably the most stimulating challenge and marked the greatest advance of any single problem faced up to that time." Additional newscasts were scheduled in the early days of the war. In May 1942, WCBW like almost all television stations sharply cut back its live program schedule and the newscasts were cancelled, since the station temporarily suspended studio operations, resorting exclusively to the occasional broadcast of films. This was primarily because much of the staff had either joined the service or were redeployed to war-related technical research, and to prolong the life of the early, unstable cameras which were now impossible to repair due to the wartime lack of parts. In May 1944, as the war began to turn in favor of the Allies, WCBW reopened the studios and the newscasts returned, briefly anchored by Ned Comer, and then by Everett Hollis. After the war, expanded news programs appeared on the WCBW schedule, whose call letters were changed to WCBS-TV in 1946 first anchored by Milo Bowleton, and later by Douglas Edwards. 
On May 3, 1948, Edwards began anchoring CBS Television News, a regular 15-minute nightly newscast on the CBS Television Network, including WCBS-TV. It aired every weeknight at 7.30 p.m., and was the first regularly scheduled, network television news program featuring an anchor the nightly Lowell Thomas NBC Radio Network newscast was simulcast on television locally on NBC's WNBT, now WNBC, for a time in the early 1940s and the previously mentioned Richard Hubble, Ned Comer, Everett Hollis and Milo Bowleton on WCBW in the early and mid-1940s, but these were local television broadcasts seen only in New York City. NBC's offering at the time, NBC Television Newsreel, which premiered in February 1948, was simply film footage with voice narration. In 1950, the name of the nightly newscast was changed to Douglas Edwards with the News, and the following year, it became the first news program to be broadcast on both coasts, thanks to a new coaxial cable connection, prompting Edwards to use the greeting, Good evening everyone, coast to coast. The broadcast was renamed the CBS Evening News when Walter Cronkite replaced Edwards in 1962. Edwards remained with CBS News with various daytime television newscasts and radio news broadcasts until his retirement on April 1, 1988. Topic. Broadcast history The information on programs listed in this section came directly from CBS News in interviews with the Vice President of Communications and Newswatch Dallas. According to the CBS News Library and source Sandy Janelius, Vice President, CBS News Communications, the CBS Evening News was the program title for both Saturday and Sunday evening broadcasts. The program title for the Sunday late night news beginning in 1963 was the CBS Sunday Night News. These titles were also seen on the intro slide of the program's opening. The program airs on Saturday, and Sunday nights at 7 o'clock to 7.30 p.m. Coordinated Universal Time, Eastern Time on CBS. Topic. Current CBS News broadcasts CBS Overnight News CBS Morning News CBS This Morning CBS This Morning Saturday CBS News Sunday Morning Face the Nation CBS Evening News CBS Weekend News 60 Minutes 48 Hours Topic. Prime Time – Evening News Program History West 57th Meredith Vieira, John Ferrugia, August 13, 1985 to September 9, 1989. 48 hours, January 19, 1988 present. 60 minutes to January 13, 1999 to September 2, 2005. America Tonight, Dan Rather, Charles Curalt, Leslie Stahl, Robert Krulwich, Edie Magnus, October 1, 1990, 1991. Street Stories Ed Bradley, January 9, 1992 to June 10, 1993. Eye to Eye with Connie Chung, June 17, 1993 to May 25, 1995. Public Eye with Bryant Gumbel, October 1, 1997-1998. CBS Newsbreak. Person to Person. Topic. Morning news program history. CBS Morning News 1963 to 1979 The Morning Program 1987 CBS This Morning 1987 to 1999 2012 present The Early Show 1999 to 2012 CBS News Saturday Morning 1997 to 1999 The Saturday Early Show 1999 to 2012 CBS Sunday Morning 1979 present Topic Late night early morning program history CBS News Nightwatch 1982 to 1992 CBS Morning News 1982 present CBS Up to the Minute 1992 to 2015 
CBS Overnight News 2015 present Topic CBSN CBSN is a 24-hour streaming news channel available from the CBS News website and launched on November, 4, 2014. The channel feature live news from 9 a.m. to midnight on weekdays. The channel makes all of the resources of CBS News available directly on digital platforms with live, anchored coverage 15 hours each week. It is a first for a U.S. 24-hour news channel to forego cable and be available exclusively only online and on smart devices such as smart TVs Apple TV, Roku, Amazon Fire and others. The channel is based at CBS's New York City headquarters. <laughs> CBS Newspath CBS Newspath is CBS News satellite news gathering service similar to CNN News Source. Newspath provides national hard news, sports highlights, regional spot news, features and live coverage of major breaking news events for affiliate stations to use in their local news broadcasts. The service has a team of domestic and global correspondents and freelance reporters dedicated to reporting for affiliates, and offers several different national or international stories fronted by reporters on a daily basis. CBS Newspath also relies heavily on local affiliates sharing content. Stations will often contribute locally obtained footage that may be of national interest. It replaced a similar service, CBS News Newsnet. Network News Service NNS is a pioneering news organization formed by ABC News One, CBS Newspath and Fox NewsEdge. Launched in June 2000, its subscriber list already includes more than 500 ABC, CBS and Fox affiliates throughout the United States. The three news distributors created NNS to cost-effectively pool resources for developing and delivering second-tier news stories and B-roll footage. The goal was to realize cost savings in the creation and distribution of these news images, while news organizations and member television stations continued to independently develop and deliver their own signature coverage of top news stories. <laughs> CBS News Radio The branch of CBS News that produces newscasts and features to radio stations is CBS News Radio. The radio network is the oldest unit of CBS and traced its roots to the company's founding in 1927, and the news division took shape over the decade that followed. The list of CBS News correspondents below includes those reporting on CBS News Radio. CBS News Radio produces the oldest daily news show on radio or television, the CBS World News Roundup, which first aired in 1938 and celebrates its 80th anniversary in 2018. The World News Roundup airs twice every weekday, a morning edition is anchored by Steve Cathan and produced by Paul Ferry, while a late edition is anchored by Dave Barrett and produced by James Hutton. The Evening Roundup, previously known as The World Tonight, has aired in its current form since 1956 and has been anchored by Blair Clark, Douglas Edwards, Dallas Townsend and Christopher Glenn. Glenn also anchored The Morning Roundup before his death in 2006. The CBS Radio Network provides newscasts at the top of the hour, regular updates at 31 minutes past the hour, the popular newsfeeds for affiliates including WCBS and KYW at 35 minutes past the hour, and breaking news updates when developments warrant, often at 20 and 50 minutes past the hour. Skyview Networks handles the distribution. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Bureaus and offices. Topic. Domestic bureaus Atlanta, Georgia Chicago, Illinois Dallas, Texas Denver, Colorado Los Angeles, California Miami, Florida New York City, Broadcast Headquarters San Francisco, California Washington, D.C. Foreign bureaus Latin America Havana, Cuba Europe Rome, Italy London, United Kingdom Middle East Istanbul, Turkey Asia Kabul, Afghanistan 
Beijing, China Tokyo, Japan Africa Johannesburg, South Africa Personnel Current correspondence New York World Headquarters Washington, D.C. Errol Barnett, correspondent Rita Braver, senior correspondent, CBS Sunday Morning, 1972 present. Margaret Brennan, State Department correspondent, anchor, Face the Nation, 2012 present. Nancy Cordes, chief congressional correspondent, 2007 present. Jan Crawford, chief legal correspondent, 2005-2006, 2009 present. Major Garrett, chief White House correspondent, 2011 present. Juliana Goldman, correspondent. Laura Logan, chief foreign affairs correspondent, 60 Minutes. David Martin, national security correspondent, 1983 present. Ed O'Keefe, political correspondent. Jeff Pegues, justice and homeland security correspondent, 2013 present. Chip Reed, national correspondent. Paula Reed, correspondent. Susan Spencer, correspondent, 48 Hours and CBS Sunday Morning, 1977 present. Chris Van Cleve, transportation correspondent, Los Angeles. Lee Cowan, national correspondent, 1996 to 2007, 2013 present. Carter Evans, correspondent. Jamie Yuccas. Maria Villaria, London. Charlie Daggett, foreign correspondent. Elizabeth Palmer, foreign correspondent, 2000 present. Mark Phillips, senior foreign correspondent, 1982 present. Jonathan Vigliotti, foreign correspondent, Denver. Barry Peterson, correspondent, 1978 present, Chicago. Adriana Diaz, national correspondent. Dean Reynolds, correspondent, 2007 present, San Francisco. John Blackstone, correspondent, Atlanta. Mark Strassman, correspondent Miami Manuel Bayorquez, correspondent Dallas David Bigno, correspondent Omar Villafranca, correspondent Rome Seth Doan, foreign correspondent Beijing Ben Tracy, foreign correspondent 2008 present Johannesburg Deborah Pata, foreign correspondent contributors Bob Schieffer, contributor Anderson Cooper 60 Minutes correspondent Oprah Winfrey 60 Minutes Correspondent Nancy Giles, CBS Sunday Morning Correspondent based in New York Sanjay Gupta, Medical Correspondent based in Atlanta, also at CNN Steve Hartman, On the Road, Correspondent for the CBS Evening News based in New York Ben Stein, CBS Sunday Morning Contributor CBS Newspath Nikki Battisti, Correspondent based in New York Kenneth Craig, correspondent, based in New York. Meg Oliver, correspondent, based in New York. Hena Doba, correspondent, based in New York. Diane King Hall, Money Watch correspondent. Danielle Nottingham, correspondent, based in Los Angeles. Chris Martinez, correspondent, based in Los Angeles. Weijia Zhang, correspondent, based in Washington, D.C. Mola Lange, correspondent, based in Washington, D.C. Roxana Sabri, correspondent, based in London, CBS News Radio. Pam Coulter, CBS News Radio correspondent. Steve Dorsey, CBS News Radio executive editor, host of the CBS News Weekend Roundup. Cami McCormick, CBS News Radio national security and foreign affairs correspondent. Stephen Portnoy, CBS News Radio White House correspondent. Bill Rakoff, CBS News Radio correspondent. Topic: Past correspondence. Topic: Presidents of CBS News. Richard S. Salant, 1961 to 1964. Fred W. Friendly, 1964 to 1966. Richard S. Salant, 1966 to 1979. Bill Leonard, 1979 to 1982. 
Van Gordon Sauter, 1982-1983. Ed Joyce, 1983-1986. Van Gordon Sauter, 1986. Howard Stringer, 1986-1988. David W. Burke, 1988-1990. Eric Ober, 1990-1996. Andrew Hayward, 1996-2005. Sean McManus, 2005-2011. David Rhodes, 2011. Topic: Reporting partnerships. In 2017, CBS News entered into a content sharing agreement with BBC News, respectively replacing similar arrangements with the BBC and ABC News, and CBS and Sky News, which is partially controlled by 21st Century Fox until 2018 when ownership was then transferred to Comcast. The partnership includes the ability to share resources, footage, and reports, and conduct. Efficient planning of news gathering resources to increase the content of each broadcaster's coverage of world events. And although they don't have an official partnership, CNN and CBS News share reporters such as Bianca Goladriga and Anderson Cooper. Topic. See also. ABC News. NBC News. CNN Fox News Noticias Univision Independent News Network Bloomberg News Topic References Topic External Links Official Website